Welcome students to the quick solution of All India Cash Test Series 2020. This is OIM and carry forward. This is test number 6, code A and code B for chemistry conducted on 5th of January 2020. Proceeding with our first question of chemistry which is question number 46. Let's read the question students. 32 gram of each CH4 and O2 are mixed in a container at 25 degrees Celsius. Fraction of total pressure exerted by O2 is? Students, as we all know that partial pressure of any gas is equal to total pressure multiplied by its mole fraction. As a result, we can say that fraction of total pressure exerted by O2 is equals to mole fraction of O2. So we have to calculate the mole fraction of O2 and the formula to calculate mole fraction of O2 is equals to number of moles of O2 upon number of moles of O2 plus number of moles of CH4. And we know that how to calculate number of moles which is equals to given mass upon molar mass. So the mass given for O2 is 32 gram and its molar mass is also 32. So 32 upon 32. Now given mass of CH4 is also 32 and molar mass is 16. So it is 1 upon 1 plus 2 which is equals to 1 upon 3. That means the correct answer is option number 2. Moving to our next question students which is question number 47. A certain gas takes four times as long as to effuse out as hydrogen under similar conditions. The molecular mass of gas will be. Students, as we all know that according to Graham's law of diffusion, the rate of effusion or diffusion of a gas is inversely proportional to the under root of its molecular weight. So we can say that rate of effusion of H2 upon rate of effusion of the unknown gas is equals to under root of molecular weight of that unknown gas upon molecular weight of H2. Since we are given that the unknown gas takes four times as long as to effuse out as hydrogen. As a result, we can say that the rate of effusion of hydrogen gas is four times as that of the unknown gas. So, 4 upon 1 is equals to under root of m let's assume the molecular weight of the unknown gas as m and the molecular weight of h2 we know it's 2 gram taking square on both sides we get 16 upon 1 is equals to molar mass of the unknown gas upon 2 so the molar mass of the unknown gas is equals to 16 into 2 which is 32 gram per mole and the molecular mass is equals to 32 u so the correct answer is option number 4 moving to the next question students which is 48 a real gas would be most likely to obey ideal gas equation at high temperature and high pressure low temperature low pressure high temperature low pressure or low temperature high pressure Students, as we all know that a real gas would be most likely to obey ideal gas equation at high temperature and low pressure. And the reason for this is that at high temperature, the effect of interparticle forces of attraction becomes negligible. And at low pressure, the volume of the gas particles become negligible as compared to the total volume occupied by the gas. So at high temperature and low pressure, the real gas is most likely to obey ideal gas equation. So the correct answer is option number 3. Moving to our next question students, which is 49. Dipole-dipole interactions are present in which of the following pairs? First, we are given with Br2 and CCl4. Students, as we all know that Br2 and CCl4 both are non-polar compounds. As a result, Br2 and CCl4, there exists induced dipole and induced dipole interaction. Moving to next, HCl and HE. Since we can see that HCl is a polar molecule and HE is non-polar. As a result, between HCl and HE, there exists dipole and induced dipole interaction. 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव एच सी एल एंड वॉटर वी कैन सी दैट बोथ आर पोलर मॉलिक्यूल्स एज अ रिजल्ट इन बिटवीन एच सी एल एंड एच टू ओ देर एक्सिस्ट डाइपोल डाइपोल इंटरक्शन मूविंग टू लास्ट विच इज एच टू ओ एंड नियॉन दैट इज एनी सिंस एच टू ओ इज अ पोलर मॉलिक्यूल एंड एनी इज नॉन पोलर देर फोर इन बिटवीन एच टू ओ एंड एनी देर एक्सिस्ट डाइपोल एंड इंड्यूस डाइपोल इंटरक्शन दैट मीन्स द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री Moving to our next question, which is question number fifty. By what factor does the most probable velocity of a gaseous molecule increase when the temperature in Kelvin is quadrupled? The options are three, two, four, or sixteen. Students, as we all know, that most probable speed is equals to under root two R T by m. U one upon U two is equals to under root two R T one upon m upon under root two r t two upon m, which is equals to under root of t one upon t two. Since we are given that the temperature in Kelvin is quadrupled, that means the value of t two is four times that of t one. Therefore, t upon four t, which is equals to one. Upon two, that means when the temperature in Kelvin is quadrupled, then the most probable velocity becomes double. So the correct answer is option number two. Moving to our next question, students, which is question number fifty-one. 